I was 18 and leaving home, going to Reading, just outside London, to embark on four years of a degree uh, in typography and graphic communication, which is graphic design. Two weeks into the course, September 1993, we had a visit and lecture, Ken Garland, quite a noted authority on graphic design. This guy, he's in his 70s, quite eccentrically dressed. He's not looked at anyone in particular. He's not announced himself. So we're expecting this big introduction. And he's turned around and said, Blue. That was it. Turned on his heels and dandered out. You know, it was silent before. There was a good pause of about a minute and a half. Oh my god. Is this normal? If we miss something? Was he Ken Garland? What is going on? So, I sat down with a blank paper and thought, oh, you know, oh no. It's so big, you know, blue. So everyone had beautiful things drawn, beautiful skies and had beautiful interpretations of the word blue. And everyone had taken it quite literal. A few people had gone off the wall, you know. So I thought, right, I'll just run with this here with a pen and paper. Just very cleanly drew the outline of the word blue, but I coloured it in green. So everyone put up their, their work on the wall, and it was just a sea of blue. Just a complete sea of blue with this green thing. Swing doors have opened and Ken has come in. Looked at the wall first. Stopped and looked at the wall. He came to every piece. He picked out something really amazing. Or discovered something really amazing in each different piece. He made everyone walking away feel great about themselves. Boyed them up. He, he left mine to the last. And he loved it. Such a, a, a noted guy, a famous guy, someone I look up to, was happy with what I'd done. It gave me all the confidence in the world that I needed. It had such a profound effect on me. And it was all down to a eccentrically dressed chap coming out with the word blue and turning on his heels.